around the strength uh, strength training area and um, so what we're aiming for is heel power the, 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 the deficit helps with heel power um, just because of the amount of force you have the more force you're being able to push through the ground some people feel like it's harder but it's really not um, to me at least um, I feel like it will be like that for a majority of people because I hear most of the time the deficit um, they feel like they can lift more and um, once again, it's because of the angle you're at to being able to push, you're having to push more power into the ground before the weight even like loads itself with gravity. So you wanna do four sets of three. This is good for, um, this is really great for strength. This definitely helps you get your deadlift up. So we're gonna get these sets done and then I'm gonna show you something else that will help you, um, that will help you get your deadlift up. So let's go. trying to get my deadlift up is I will max out twice a week so even with this deficit I'm gonna try to max out um, and do as best as I can even though I just did the, the four sets of three and uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go past six sets I mean six reps when it comes to strength training right um, so I'm gonna get this done and then I'm just gonna go go down and wait and show you a little bit of something else that's a, a easy not easy but a, a good trick to increase that, that deadlift.
I just went for, uh, had a 25s on there, that was 635 to end it um, for one rep. I'm gonna stop it right there. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys um, the pause rep. So we're gonna come up to the dead dev, we're gonna stop at the knees and then explode up, right? Just to get you out that sticking point. So I'm gonna show you guys one time and then um, I'm gonna show you, and then it's also something to, to be able to do when a weight's too heavy and you get it to your knees. You try to come up, give it to your knees and then drop it back down. I'm gonna show you the way where you go all the way up though. Just work on that hip extension explosiveness to be able to lock out, have a strong lockout. This is a Maserati production. Watch how, you know, now watch that, watch, make sure you watch that stop and then explosive movement. So usually I would do something like this for five sets of three. for today for this exercise uh, we're gonna do an ab overload heavy heavy reps of six sets of six and um, you know you can add the first the first set I didn't add weight to my legs just to support me keep my feet down but just to see how well I would do and then the second set I added weight to my legs um, we want to go for six reps with this uh, definitely got to focus on those abs people you know when you when you hit deadlifts uh, I don't really, I'm do, I don't do abs for looks, but to be honest, I do abs for results as far as internal strength and um, you know it, it helps with posture. You gotta think about it, you know, working doing deadlifts and doing abs helps with posture. And abs is going to more benefit your deadlifts. The more your abs can handle, the more you're being able to deadlift. So when we deadlift, what do we feel? We feel a, a bloat. Same like same as squats, we feel a big bloat in our stomach and with our somebody feels like it can't expand or, or it hold itself together, then that's when we give up. So you gotta hit it heavy. Um, that's my that's my way of doing it, and I know that it benefited me in a, in a vast you know amount of ways. So even with all my lifts, bench, deadlift, squat, uh, overhead press, you need you need abs with all this. You need to be able to have that ab strength. So hope you like the video. I'm out.